Hi, I'm Mary Carroll. I'm one of the founders of Art ASAP, after school arts programming, where we take the studio to the student where they live. We've converted this Metro Transit Authority bus into a fully equipped art studio with professional teaching artists. We'll traverse the seven county metro area, transporting arts to students who lack access, and hopefully we bridge the opportunity gap. I'm an artist. I have a small gallery called the Secret Heart Gallery in Maiden Rock, Wisconsin. The students that will be in the program are students that live in various um, public housing around the Twin Cities. And sometimes that's a small world, just school. And if they're, in, if they're living in the public housing, it's a very intense experience. It's sometimes crowded. My name's Kylie Grant. I'm a sophomore at Northwestern University. Today I'm helping set up Art ASAP, the Art Bus. It's a mobile art studio that removes the barrier to access for children ages 10 to 14 in multifamily housing complexes throughout the seven metro county area. It's with some pride that I say I'm an artist. I was really lucky, I was given a gift. If you encourage a gift in a young kid, uh, they're gonna thrive. That gift is gonna lead them. They're gonna discover their passion. And in that state, they're going to be better citizens. They're going to be better classmates and family members. And It's not a panacea, it's not a cure-all, and I don't intend at all to describe it like that, but I know that I'm a better person when I'm doing art. My name is Raju Lamisane. Yeah, originally, uh, I am from Nepal, and I'm a new immigrant. What I feel is art is kind of meditation when you do something, artwork. The art and being an artist make people happy. The reason we use the acronym ASAP, After School Arts Programming, is because it happens after school for kids, where they live, but also it conveys a sense of urgency. We need this now. I feel like children who don't have access to specific um, resources see themselves as not worthy or as worthy as other children who are given a lot more. It's beyond important. I think it's essential. And like I, I said earlier, I think that for some students, it's going to be imperative that they have that, and it's going to make a difference in their life. The community is very diverse uh, communities, and they don't get the chance and the opportunity to participate in our programs because uh, most of the funding has been cut out of the schools. Just because the funding is cut, that doesn't mean that this opportunity for children to do art isn't important, um, and that's a gap that's a hole, that's um, an empty place that Art ASAP, the Art Bus, tries to fill. The Art ASAP Bus gives those students an opportunity to express themselves through artistic design and creativity. I feel like I'm a civilizing influence in this little Wild West situation because these kids are just, you can't keep kids sitting on the curb polishing their high, halos. They need something to do. And they need respect, you know. They're not getting a lot of respect. That's a damn fine drawing you've done there, kid. It means a huge deal to a kid. They have this space to explore their identity, where they can be safe, where they can be free. You know, making sure that uh, we respect self, respect others, and most importantly, um, respect the surrounding area around you. It'll be a, an integrated experience. We feel like Art ASAP, the Art Bus, will help instill a sense of capability and pride in each of the students, as well as a comfortability with their own emotions and their ability to express themselves. And it feels good. And it's, there's a reward. There's an immediate reward. You look and you see what you made. And I made that thing, and I, I like it. Uh, it's enchanting, you know? I, you become enchanted by art and by the experience of making it. Because you're looking different at what you're making, it changes your ability to perceive the world. It changes your perceptions. They're getting artists that have already established themselves, um, but that really want to be a part of their lives. And uh, I think that's something that a lot of students don't have in their lives. Stopping in your neighborhood today, the Art Bus.